Join me as I explore the exciting world of model railways with behind the scenes features, step-by-step -step tutorials, interviews, videos, reviews, and much, much more. I'm Dawn Quest and I love building model railways. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to do a realistic marble effect for your layouts. And it's great for things like stone and columns, or if you're inspired to be a little bit fancy and do an HO gauge around the Acropolis, for example. So I first used this effect on the monochrome model railway with this little guy. He's a soldier on a plinth. And it was my first attempt at marbling. And um, so I created it using just three colors, uh, white, black, and a mixture of the two. So it's very, very simple. So first, let's take a look at the equipment that you'll need. So what I use, I use a very fine paintbrush. And this one is actually one I've used before, um, and I haven't quite washed it out properly. So it's a little bit tacky, it's a little bit stiff. And that's great because it helps you create that really nice marbling effect. Another tip is some people use a feather and a feather creates that lovely soft edge, but I didn't happen to have a feather on me and the birds in the garden this morning weren't very obliging. So it's gonna have to be a paintbrush. Another thing you'll need is a sponge, and this is just a basic sponge. Any sponge will do. This is a bathroom sponge that I've just cut into a smaller piece. But if you want to be fancy and get a special art sponge or um, a natural sponge, a bamboo sponge, great. Whatever you have to hand. And lastly, of course, you're going to need your paints. Now, I use, um, I've been using the acrylic, an acrylic white, an acrylic black. But really, any paint is going to be fine. It just depends what you like using. And let me just show you what I've done. Um, I have created a palette and this palette has, um, I put the black and the white. And in this time, this time I've created two shades of gray. I've created a darker shade of gray and a lighter shade of gray. So really you just need two colors and we'll create your different shades of gray to create that lovely marbling effect. So what I've done already, I've already painted, this is the column I'm going to be using for the cinema. And I've already painted it um, a white just to save some time for this video. And really it needs another coat of, of white, but I've just done one coat for now. And what we're going to do, we're going to start with the mid color gray, and then we're going to add the white and add the black afterwards. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. So I'm going to take my mid color gray and I'm going to just create. Now, what is a really good tip to use is just get a Google image of marble. You don't have to use black and white. You can use browns, you can use greens, reds, there's all different kinds of marble and different colours of marble. So whatever, whatever takes your fancy. But I'm going to start with the mid colour grey, and I'm going to use a reference of this marble here to just follow um, the shapes and the patterns. And if you look at this picture, you'll see there's some thin lines, there's some kind of soft um, smudgy lines. And really, it's just about using your brush, using the edge of the brush, using the flat of the brush, applying different kinds of pressure, soft light, just creating those lovely little veins, those little lines. And really, with marble, there's no mistakes. You can't make a mistake because what we're going to do at the end of it, we're going to use our sponge to just soften those edges and add a little bit more white if you think you've made a mistake or you want to cover a little bit over. Next, I'm going to add the black and I'm just going to use this very sparingly. And if you see using your image, using um, an image as reference, just use it kind of underline some of those lighter gray areas and use softer brush strokes and just create that lovely thin vein um, running through the pattern there. Then I'm going to take this lighter gray and create some softer smudged areas just around following the main darker lines and just creating soft pools of color around like this. And then lastly, this is the fun bit, you get your sponge. You dab it in the white just a little bit. Don't use too much because you don't want to cover all your lovely work. Just a little bit of white on the edge. Squeeze it together a little bit so that um, it spreads the paint throughout the sponge. And then you're going to dab it very lightly just over some of the harder edges. You can keep some of these nice hard edges, but if you see an area that looks a little bit hard and you want to soften it, just go over it with a sponge, a little bit of white until you get the effect that you like. Now on this column, of course, it's quite small, so I'm doing everything slightly smaller to scale. But if you're doing a bigger piece, obviously it's going to be a bigger area and you might want to create larger lines and larger pools of color. 
So now the columns are finished, I'm going to attach them to the cinema and that's going to be at the back of the brief encounter monochrome model railway, along with this soldier on his plinth. It'd be great if you had the opportunity to come and see the layout we'll be exhibiting on the exhibition circuit over the coming months. Do come along, say hi, it'd be great to meet you. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, if you like the content, please do like and share and of course subscribe so that you get notified of all my latest videos.